Hello, Facebook, YouTube. You know, the thing is, I'm finna uh, try to get you on this scenario, you know. I'm trying to <laughs> grind it. <laughs> Gotta grind. Because, man, y'all are so blind by the lust of the things of this world. Wow. You just don't know how blind y'all really are. Most, some of y'all are. You know? Well, I'm sorry. Excuse me, most of y'all so blunt. But the whole idea of this world system that God is kind of talking to me, little conversation, is called, you know, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it's all about uh, either, see, the 666, I keep telling people, the idea is of, it's like keeping things the reality of man made. You know what I'm saying? When man made it. You know what I'm saying? When man made it and or want to get only men can make it without the power of God. Put it, put it pretty much is the idea of what the system is operating in. It's man can make it without God. You know what I'm saying? Man can make it without Jesus. It's the idea that they're trying to sell to every individual that's operating in the world. And the, as much more, this system can make y'all pretend that y'all can make it less without him. More are you going to do what you do to fall in the trap. And because it's a trap and don't make it. Don't really make it or not really fulfill the higher purpose of your life. But the idea, you're supposed to be sold that in the 777 on the way to heaven is God made it. And if I'm, if God made it, and if I'm trying to make it somewhere, I can only make it with him. You know what I'm saying? I can only make it with God. But the world system is all about this system to, you know, first of all, magnify you and magnify people men and women to that they achieved and accomplished things in whatever shape form or form of anything that's in this world to say well if they made it you can make it you know what i'm saying and they're going to just say you they're not going they're not going they're going to try to ease away from the ideal of god you know what I'm saying? so hey what, what, what god and jesus that we could you know, what are you talking about, God and Jesus, you know? No, you made it. You did it. You, by your own ability, by your own power, by your own, you know, uh, ways, you know, you achieve and accomplish life. You know what I'm saying? And they're trying to really, you know, get people to believe that you're man-made and you can make it and you can make this and you can make that by your own self and make and achieve and accomplish things, you know, as much as it's up to you. It's up to you, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, do not even emphasize the reality of God or trying to, you know, make him, you know, trying to make God disappear, the reality of God disappear. You know, the sad part about this idea is that, you know, especially in the United States of America, that, uh, so they got songs, God bless America. They got, they put in a dollar bill, God bless America. They put all these evidence of idea of the existence of God everywhere in this country. And they will still develop a system to say that God does not exist. I mean, well, you can develop people to doubt the existence of God. It's amazing how much lust can do that. You know what I'm saying? The lust of people will believe that, you know, God doesn't exist in this country. You know, and as much as we accomplish so many things in this country with the idea of understanding God bless America, I mean, got a song. <laughs> it's just hilarious. It's, it's a joke. You know, people, it's a joke that we will have all this stuff about God and all of a sudden, wait a minute, there's atheists popping up in the country. You know what I'm saying? It's, oh man, it's this, but it's this, why they pop up? Just ask what John said, the lust of the flesh, 
is the reality they want to believe that it's all about their flesh. See, and God is spirit. You know what I'm saying? They want to worship. If you're going to participate in God, you know, being with him, you got to worship in spirit and truth. But because the lust of the flesh, you don't want to participate in that activity because you want something that, you know, you, you know, uh, is all about you. And it's all about people seeing you and magnifying you and thinking that you're the best thing that ever existed. You know, it's this ideal world system is trying to sell that, you know, this is what you you should be about. But it's, of course, a lie. Um, but, the, but the lust of the eyes and how you see yourself and how you see people, and how you see, now you see in treasures in the flesh. And that's when you go after a bunch of foolishness. That's why I see people just see treasures in the flesh. They say, oh, this is worth seeking after to, you know, go after and stuff like that and make fools. That's how I say make fools. But the thing is, wisdom will say that if there's a creator, if, 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 there's a, if, if we created something, if man created something, there has to be a pattern of a creation factor. Like if we are creators, then the idea is we were created by a creator. That has to facilitate concerning the pattern of, you know, life. If there's, you know, if there, that's how we should look at it, but we're not going to look at that because we will rather believe that it's ours, we can do what the heck we want to do, we can play by our own rules and, and destroy ourselves, you know what I'm saying? You know, because when it's man-made, it's not going to last. But, of course, if the God made it, it will last longer to the end of time. But the thing is, you can believe this lie of this man-made and become more fools to your own selfish pride. Or you can believe God made and become selfless and believe that without joining my clique called ING, I mean, uh, let me see, W-I-N-G clique, uh, I can't make it without God, you know. W-G-I-N clique. Without God, I am nothing. Sorry, I had so many ideas on it. Okay, but that's the message. I hope y'all be on that God-made tip and not that foolish man-made tip because everything man-making ain't really working. Well, when God make it, like Romans 8, 28 says, all things will work together according to his good and things will come out with a better outcome more than we can ever imagine. That's the message. God be the glory and forever in Jesus' name. Amen.